11 Reasons to Read the August Issue of Diseases of the Colon Rectum. First, a viewpoint entitled The Invisible Co-Afflicted, Caregivers of Rectal Cancer Survivors. Two, a Just Thinking Commentary by Dr. Gottesman, Burnout, Well Done, or Medium Rare. Three, a Resonance Corner and Commentary on Small Bowel Neuroendocrine Tumors. Four, our didactic video this month from India, laparoscopic left lateral pelvic lymph node dissection for rectal neuroendocrine tumor. Five, our new technology report on Dillup's transmucosal internal sphincterotomy, a simplified approach to lateral internal sphincterotomy for Fisher and Eno. You can watch both of these on our DCR YouTube channel and become a subscriber if you aren't one already. Six, cytological analysis of the surgical field during Tatiami for rectal cancer, a prospective study. Seven, interrater agreement of height assessment by rigid proctoscopy for rectal cancer. Eight, a cadaver study of colon lengthening maneuvers following sigmoid resection. How much length can you get? Nine, trends and distribution of iliopouchian anastomosis in the United States. Is this operation becoming harder to find in colorectal surgery training? And 10, what's the role of Martius flap and gracilis interposition in the treatment of rectovaginal fistula? And 11, the safety and efficacy of a novel miniaturized robotic assisted surgery system in colectomy. This is a prospective clinical trial using the ideal framework. We have a lot more in this month's issue. We'll see you next month. Thank you.